بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ ویلکم بیک لیڈیز اینڈ جنرلمن وی آر موونگ فارورڈ ود آر کارپوریٹ گورننس ماڈیول اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایشوز ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا بورڈ اینڈ دا رول آف دا ڈائریکٹر سو دس از اگین اے ویری امپارٹنٹ ٹاپک وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ اٹ فرام ڈفرنٹ ڈائمنشنس تھرو ڈفرنٹ میٹرکسز تھرو ڈفرنٹ فریم ورکس تھرو ڈفرنٹ اسکولز آف تھراٹ تھرو ڈفرنٹ ماڈلس اینڈ ناؤ وی آر ایکچولی ان ریولنگ اٹ ان اے مور مائکرو کانٹیکس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر آلسو گوئنگ ٹو بی لوکنگ ایٹ اے ویری انٹرسٹنگ ماڈل اینڈ فریم ورک to see uh, how they basically uh, tend to coordinate and execute their different responsibilities. Uh, the board of directors, there is an increasing awareness that corporates owe their existence to the shareholders. So again, the shareholder is a very, very important component of the company. If we don't have shareholders, then where will we be getting the resources to move forward and generate more products, services, leading to much higher profits at the end of the day? Long-term sustainability of companies depends upon winning their confidence through disclosures and transparency in the operations and accountability for their actions to them. So again, the shareholder is basically concerned with the transparency within the organization, within the organization, the accountability mechanisms, and most importantly, how decision making is done and what is the logic and rationale behind all of that. So that is what the shareholder is looking at. Now, the directors and the board are responsible to see and oversee that whatever process of decision making is taken in the organization, it is based upon integrity, is, there has to be accountability, there has to be transparency, and there has to be merit. So all of these things become extremely important when we're talking about the board of directors. The board of directors, again, uh, this is achieved through voluntary actions on part of the board of directors. Moreover, uh, this is achieved through regulatory frameworks such as stock exchanges, securities, and exchange boards and other regulatory bodies. So there are many regulatory bodies which tend to oversee and overlook and regulate Uh, organizations, but many a times uh, there are also ways uh, to uh, deviate from the right path also. So the board of directors basically has to ensure uh, that there is merit, transparency and accountability and most importantly things are done in the right way without compromising on the principles and values of the organization. So that becomes extremely important. Now when we look at this particular model, uh, these are the different principles codified as principles of corporate governance. So what we see is that the role of the board in the dynamics of corporate governance. Now, we see that in the center, there is the board of directors and the top management, and they are interconnected with each other. There is compliance and accountability. There are policies. And again, there are JDs uh, of directors and also of the top management. We see that there are four components uh, in this particular framework. Uh, there are the shareholders that we were just talking about. There are the employees. There are uh, the depositors, borrowers, and other customers. And then we have the general stakeholders. Now, when we look at this, the, the organization basically is engulfed uh, within four major forces. There are regulatory compliance uh, and organization welfare. On one side, we have compliance of business ethics and providers of services and suppliers uh, pushing in from the other aspect. Then we have market forces and competition. And then uh, since the past few decades, we also have a, a very strong uh, responsibility uh, metric. So these different forces uh, are converging upon the board and the board, whenever making policies or whenever making accountability mechanisms, have to ensure that all of these four uh, are a, pay, a part of their framework, a part of their oper operations. Then another thing that we see is, is the, the, the complex relationship which is uh, intertwined uh, between all of these four uh, major uh, stakeholders. We see that there is transparency and fairness in dealings, environmental uh, preservation. When we are talking about other stakeholders, when we are talking about employees, then there has to be Uh, consideration for uh, career advancement and job satisfaction. When we're talking about the shareholders, so like earlier said, we're talking about accountability, uh, disclosures and empowerment and pressure to perform. And then when we're talking about depositors, borrowers and other customers, uh, there is customer services and satisfaction, which on the other dimension is about establishing long-term relationships. So this is extremely important. I mean, we, can, we can look at an example and that example basically uh, is of McDonald's whereby They have created a partnership uh, with Coca-Cola and all the McDonald's in the world basically are supplied Coca-Cola, but there's no written agreement. It's, it's just, it's just uh, this uh, cross credibility and this cross relationship, long-term relationship, which has been developed. Uh, and that has led uh, to uh, McDonald's uh, single-handedly being the largest, uh, the largest uh, consumption of Coke of any organization in the whole world. So, That is how uh, things have to be, that they have to be long-term, 
they should be based upon trust transparency accountability and integrity there should be that relationship building between the different shareholders and stakeholders and that would lead to uh, a better framework and towards uh, a better corporate governance mechanism what we see that for a better governance the board should function as follows that it should exhibit total commitment should steer discussions properly should clear their standing on different issues and most importantly to ensure uh, efficient uh, ceo so that is extremely important ladies and gentlemen all of these points uh, of uh, have been to be looked by uh, the board we see that uh, seeking challenges uh, posed by decisions on acquisitions uh, anticipating business events long term focus and stakeholder interest and again uh, promoting overall interest of the company and its stakeholders uh, are of paramount importance so uh, again what we see ladies and gentlemen is that in this whole context of the matrix that i basically shared with you in the diagram we see that the board has to look forward has to protect the organization at all cost and also ensure that there is a high level of efficiency a higher level of effectiveness uh, a high level of integrity accountability and transparency and things should be done on merit without any vulturization uh, of uh, different items or different issues or different processes or different systems which would lead to a better organization and also higher profits with every year coming in thank you so much